I think to this point in my career, I've made pretty hardcore perspective kind of pieces. You know, Moonlight is from the perspective of Chiron, it's his consciousness. With this adaptation, it was really invigorating and kind of refreshing to know that James Baldwin wrote the book, Bill Street Could Talk. Tish is telling the story of the film, of Bill Street Could Talk. So I felt like she was the author of the film and it was told from her perspective. And that kind of freed me to have like a very solid compass with which I was guiding the adaptation, as opposed to having to be very mindful of how much of James Baldwin's wishes, you know, his story wishes, made it into the film. It was just about her point of view. I hope that nobody has ever had to look at anybody they love through glass. Thankfully, when I wrote it, I thought there was no chance I would ever get to make it. And so it kind of took off uh, a bit of the pressure, you know, there were no expectations. And it was really just about the joy of adapting the piece. And I think when you work, uh, work on something in that way, I had so much hope for it that I didn't allow myself to feel the weight, the pressure of adapting one of my heroes. I had to be very clear that the film and the book were two different things. And so for me, building the film was about having a fidelity to what would create what I felt was the most authentic cinematic experience. And there are sequences in the book that are amazing pieces of storytelling, but to me they weren't cinematic. They didn't fit the story that we were building as the film. You ready for this? I've never been more ready for anything in my whole life. To me, James Baldwin is ubiquitous, you know? He's infinity in a certain way. I think proof positive of that is that he wrote a book, or published a book in 1974, and it's still just as much relevant today as it was when he published it. You know, for me, he's always been someone who, you know, you're born and the world tells you this is the box that you're allowed to play in, you're allowed to live in, you're allowed to grow in. And he's just consistently over the course of his life, and I speak of him in the present tense because it seems like he's still with us, he just always was radical about deciding where his box would be. And that box was wide enough to, I think, encompass all of humanity. I love you. You know that. I do. And I understand what you're going through. Because I'm with you. The Bill Street Could Talk and Moonlight were both co-produced with Plan B. And Stefan, his first film, I believe, was Selma, which was a Plan B film. So when we started talking about it, Bill Street, you know, all of us knew, knew him, were familiar with his work. We've seen him in race as uh, Jesse Owens. Just an amazing performer and a really wonderful young man with a very old soul. And I knew this character, Fani, was on this continuum where his, ex his experience of the world, his relation to the world, was one that was just evolved way beyond his actual, uh, his age, you know, he's wise beyond his years. So we wanted to find a performer who could translate that. In the book, the character's written as very light-skinned. You know, he's a light-skinned black man. But when I'm writing the script, I don't see an actor as the character. I'm hoping an actor will come into audition and reveal themselves as the character. There's this idea of colorism in the book that I wanted to hold on to. But Stefan was amazing and he dictated that, you know, we had to go a different direction. 